Hey everyone, it's Gary from Carrie's Crafts, and today I want to show you how I made this beautiful card using some of the new butterfly thinlet dies from the Occasions catalog. Aren't they great? I just love those. I love those together. We're going to be using the butterfly thinlet dies, and you can see here it comes with a larger image, a middle image, and a smaller image. This is the one we're going to use today. And I want to show you the butterfly thinlet dies that come in the Stampin' Up! Occasions catalog. Now, if you don't have this catalog yet, leave me a comment below or head over to my blog and let me know. I'll be sure to drop one in the mail to you. And these dies are right here on page 26. So you can see here are the Butterfly Thinlet dies. They come with three dies. And check out this stamp set down here below. If you see this stamp image here of this butterfly coordinates with the butterfly in the Thinlet package. So that's really great for stamping and then cutting. You don't have to use your scissors, no cutting or fussy cutting. And what's also great is if you choose to get the set, the Thinlet dies and the stamp set, you can bundle it and save 15%. So that's really cool. Now let me show you what inspired me to make this card today. This is the card sample in the Occasions catalog. And another great benefit of the Stampin' Up! catalogs are all the samples that are included. So really cute pages full of samples, another really great benefit from the Stampin' Up! catalog. But this card here is what inspired me today. These butterflies and the three colors, as you can see. So what I did was brought in my Big Shot and I wanted to use um, Calypso Coral and Lost Lagoon. So what I used with my die was my magnetic platform and I love this thing. This is perfect for framelits because it's going to um, adhere like a magnet, see? But the way I want to sandwich this together is I want to use my clear plate. I want to use a dryer sheet and I'm using two dryer sheets here because I, I felt that that was what was worked best for me. And the reason I'm using a dryer sheet is because all of these nooks and crannies here in the butterfly, they are going to make those pop out so much easier. And I'll show you how in just a second. So I've got my clear plate, my dryer sheet, my cardstock, and then my butterfly. And let's run that through the Big Shot. So you can see here. My butterfly image just popped right out. And then see how those little holes and nooks and crannies, they just fall out really easily. And then it makes for easy cleanup. Just grab my garbage bowl, dump that in there. And then see I've got this really pretty butterfly. And what's really and what's really neat about this is it comes out with this really soft, blankety feeling, like a waxy feeling, and that's because of the dryer sheet that we used. And not to mention it makes it smell really pretty too. So I can tell when I run my hands over my cardstock and run it over the die cut butterfly that we used with the dryer sheet, how much softer and blankety and smooth it feels. I love that. So let's do one more. Let's take the magnetic platform, the clear plate, the dryer sheet, my Calypso coral paper, a butterfly, and my second clear plate.
Okay. There's our second butterfly. And all those pieces just kind of fall out. Make it really nice. Okay, so there's our two butterflies. Aren't they? I just love those. They're just so pretty. So let's make the card, shall we? I've got my piece of paper here for my card. This is Sahara Sand cardstock. It's an eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock, and I want to cut it in half at five and a half. And then I'm going to turn it because I want to score it. And I'm going to put it here at the four and a quarter mark. Now, if you notice, I've got my cutting blade and I've also got my scoring blade. So this makes it really quick and easy. I just run my score blade over that. And then see, it gives you that score line and makes it really easy to fold. Now for my stamping, I'm using a piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm also using a little banner piece that I made, again with the Sahara Sand. And the stamp sets I'm gonna use are Gorgeous Grunge and For You. Now these are in the annual catalog from Stampin' Up. And are you like me and you saw this Gorgeous Grunge stamp set and you thought, now what am I gonna use that for? But I love this stamp set. It is perfect for when you need to make some type of background or add some dimension or interest to your card or your project. So I really love this set. And then this one I'm using, um, now really you could use any greeting for your card. This card would work for any occasion, really. But today I'm going to use birthday wishes. So let me grab my clear block and my stamp from this set. And this is a clear block E. And I'm going to use Sahara Sand ink because um, my card base is Sahara Sand. So my ink color is going to coordinate really well with that. And I want to ink it up. And I want to go uh, straight down on my paper, straight up. And then I want to stamp again. This is called stamping off. It just gives it a lighter um, color, a watermark kind of a look. And I want to ink it up again and do the same thing in the other corner. Again, stamp it down and then stamp again without re-inking. So that's going to give me my lighter color. And that's the look I'm going for there. Okay, then I want to stamp my banner. And I mentioned I'm using Birthday Wishes. And my other clear block, this is Clear Block H. And did you know that Stampin' Up! has nine different size clear blocks? Really cool. And the greeting I'm going to stamp in Lost Lagoon. Because if you remember, when we used the cardstock for the butterfly, this is Lost Lagoon cardstock. So again, I know my Lost Lagoon ink is going to match really well. So let's ink it up. And on my banner, just go straight down and straight up. Perfect. Okay, now I'm ready to assemble my card. And I just want to take my Whisper White piece and put it straight down on my card base. And for my butterflies, I'm going to use mini glue dots. And these are great for when you want to use a smaller image or a smaller surface area. And they are adhesive dots, self-adhesive dots. And I could just take my butterfly 
and go straight to the glue dot on the roll. So I just want to put it right down like that. Don't even have to touch it. See? And I'm going to put one on the lower part of his body too. Just so I can make that make sure it sticks right there in the middle. And if you see, my glue is only down the middle here because that's the only part that I need to stick. I want these wings to kind of look like he's flying off the page. And then my Calypso Coral one. Again, just take my project right to my glue dot. Put him down and he looks like he's flying. And then my greeting. Now I could leave the card just like this, but I really want to add some bling to the butterflies. So I've got my rhinestones here and I just use the tip of my scissors to get the rhinestone. And these are also self-adhesive, so the sticky is already on the back. And see my scissors, that helps me, helps me maneuver that rhinestone from the paper here onto my project. So there you go, really cute. I just love these butterflies from the, the Occasions catalog. I just love how this turned out. And I hope you did too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.